wind down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. Now, in white wine news, if you are if you are a member of our site, TashaKLive.com, you will know what I'm saying in white wine news. Should I describe it more or do y'all just get it? Okay? Okay? Now, hopefully I ain't got to give a whole lesson. I need to put a whiteboard back here so I can do, you know, illustrations. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to assume that y'all know what I say when I say in white wine news. On TashaKLive.com, they know it. All right, it's cold. It's cold language. Now, Kylie Jenner opens up about the misconceptions that she's had so much surgery on her face. And ears, too. But she forgot about those, okay? Um, yeah, I guess maybe she thought her ears wasn't in front of her face. She said, y'all said face, not head, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, she, I don't know who asked her this, but apparently she says, um, I think a big misconception about me, let me look at her, y'all look at her, okay, uh, about me, damn, I need some glasses, you know how you start to get old in age, you know what I'm saying, and you got to pull every, you got to pull it back like this, hold on, <laughs> that's what Boog Me is for, so, um, she says, I think a big misconception about me is that I've had so much surgery on my face and that I was some insecure person. Okay? And I really wasn't. Yeah, I love full lips and I wanted full lips, but growing up, I was always the most confident person in the room. This is so good. Don't look like confidence at the top, though. But we'll keep reading, all right? Um, she also says, I was the girl performing for everyone. We know. That's how you got Tyga. At an underage. Allegedly. I had one lip insecurity. Not two lips. One lip. Okay. She said, I had one lip insecurity thing. So I got one lip filler. Okay. And it was the best thing I've ever done. I don't regret it, but I always thought I was cute. I don't know who told you that like we didn't. Now, um, now she grown now. So if she was a child, I, you know, obviously this topic wouldn't be on the channel. But she grown now. And she brought it to the forefront. So it's not like I'm just bullying her because that's not what's going on here we're just critiquing what she said here that nobody asked her ass okay now um i don't know if she think i people this what does they call that that thing that people suffer from body dysmorphia okay i think it's it's a really deep rooted thing because you i think she's so in engulfed in her own body dysmorphia that she think we think we can't see what we see like we don't know a little work when we see it okay take my hair for instance right look at it I ain't seen Keisha I ain't seen the master stylist right but y'all think that I somehow have had my hair done. Don't it look like I got it done? Take a look at it. Look, yeah, my hair is done. Kiss your hood, this out. Look at it. This is nice, right? That's what y'all. That's what y'all think. And that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. Okay. I was gonna come on the show like this, but they told me to put on a hat. I said, "This is me." I was actually gonna rock it like this. They said no. I said I look like I was from Baltimore. I don't know what that means, but oh well. Now, I don't know if she expected us to believe this because she actually believed it. Because when you look at, I wish I had one of them. I, Chelsea, I need you to get me one of those those pins. You know, the ones that where you do the, 
pointers. Yeah. Because when we look at say, hey, I don't know, like, it, did she, is she thinking that she just grew up? Because when you turn 16, that's your face. I still look the same that, that I look when I was 16. This is her face. Those are her ears. They are no longer a part of her body, okay? Cheekbones, contour, the chin is very telling. The eyes are very telling, okay? Hell, even the nose, okay? And she says she had one lip job. One. Listen, I, I don't know. I think maybe because she's been looking at this for so long that she actually believes it. And she said not a lot of plastic surgery. So what's not a lot? What's not a lot? Obviously, you got your ears pent back. There's no way that your ears were like this. You, I look cute with some big ears. When I look cute with some big ears, and now all of a sudden they peeing back here, and I know they hurt because every time I put my uh, my hair scarf on, and I actually and I have to tie my ears down because I need them little edges right there on the side to lay down and stuff. They be they be painful in the morning, so I know them little earlobes is is tearing her ass up. But I just don't understand who at who who asked you? We we didn't care. We didn't care. We don't care. We don't care that. I mean, hell, when you look at the... No, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to say I got to take that to the TashaKLive.com. I was going to talk about them children. Because a lot of these parents out here be catfishing their children, okay? A lot of them be doing that. So they go get surgery when they was ugly, okay? Then they become somewhat pretty. And then when the kids come out and the kids is going to school struggling because people calling them ugly, they, they, they don't know what they're talking about. They do know what they're talking about, because you did it. You did it. And instead of you teaching me how to love me, I got to figure out how you look like this, and then when they see the photo album, all oh, hell breaking loose. I'm telling you. I, I would feel upset if I was a daughter and my mama did me like that, but I look just like Lynette. Just like her. You you can't, look, she can't, she can't say I ain't hers. She can't say I ain't hers. <sighs> Moving on. And white, more white wine news. Now, she also expects us to believe that she is sleeping with an Timothy uh, Ch Chalamet. I don't know who Chalamet. Okay, like Charlemagne, like Charlemagne. Okay, um, all of a sudden they're done. They have they they are tired of being baby mamas. They are tired of being disrespected. They are tired of being cheated on by these black men, and they don't want them no more. They said that they are done, and black women, y'all can have them back. They done. They done. I ain't seen a black baby daddy still there. Where are they at? So they figure that maybe if I would have stuck with my own culture, I wouldn't be a baby mama so early because it's got to be gut punching to be under 25 and to have two kids with, and you got to, are you coming to get these kids this weekend? You know, I got to meet with Timothy who, you know, I got a date with Timothy. How am I supposed to date when I always got the kids? You always on tour. Who is supposed to help me? Ask your mama. Don't you live next door to her? No. She, her, Corey is taking her, ooh, who the hell is this? Hold on for a second. <laughs> Corey is taking her to the Maldives so she can squirt all weekend. I'm sorry. No. You got to come get these kids. It don't feel good, dude. It don't feel good having to chase them down for child support because you ain't screwing them no more. Imagine how we feel. But you thought you had one up. You thought you could get something out of the black man that the black woman couldn't get. We already knew. We're just waiting on you to find out. And now he done left you with a big ass <laughs> and two kids. And he guess what he doing? I'm screwing somebody else that ain't got no children, okay? <laughs> don't you love it? They always do that shit. Now I don't it, I don't um I don't know if she expects us to believe this too, because I don't even think she believes it yet. Ain't he a Disney star? Stranger Things? What he done been on? Who is this? 
Who is it? Shaq know who he is. Who is he? This is the movie you were raving about on the airplane. Don't be saying I was raving about it. Talking about Doom? Yeah. Oh, that's the Doom star? Yeah. How many movies have I did? About two? Three? Yeah. We ain't got a little money. One, two, three. He's going to be the Willy Wonka? He's going to be the Willy Wonka? Ooh, she's trying to get a different chick. Mm, mm, mm. She is trying to get a different chick. I ain't mad at it, girl. Listen, you better claim it for somebody else, do. Because these black women is coming for these white men. <laughs> you better watch your ass. Moving on. Now, um, I'm irritated because I feel like as, they don't do this to nobody but us, okay? When you a black woman and you brutal and you bold and you know who you are and you, you not trying to be politically correct, everybody got a problem with it. It's like they want us to fall in line. It's like they just want us to about face. But when we push it, now all of a sudden everybody feels attacked. Attacked. Now when one half white woman go on her show, all of a sudden she feels unsafe. Unsafe. She's safe enough sleeping with her ex-husband's uh, uh, co-worker, ex-best friend's uh, half autistic son, allegedly. You can't tell me that little boy ain't on the spectrum. You can't tell me that, Okay. Something. Shit, I know his daddy called him better than that, but probably couldn't teach him. Anyway, moving on. Um, Now, take a look at this clip. Well, I, I don't want you at home to do my job. You're already, you know, giving me your time. So for me, it's always a respectful environment. I don't benefit from, you know, an ambush interview. Every guest on our show, they know the topics. They don't know the questions, because if you know the questions, it's not an interview. Of course. It's a PR stunt. Mm -hmm. And I say to people, let's talk about it. Tell me your story. Yeah. And now, if you're not happy with the answer you gave, that's between you and your PR team. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See, you know, this is the issue that I run into, too, because everybody wants questions. I said, what questions? You know what the hell you done done out here? You know what I'm going to ask. Well, can you just send us some questions to vet? No, I will not. But because Larsa Pippen felt the heat and Portia, I felt the tact. She's trying to tell me that I'm not supposed to date my husband. Well, he wasn't your husband. He was somebody else's husband, Portia, okay, when you went on the show. You on the show talking about everybody's uh, uh, childhood husband, R. Kelly, and you waiting in the bedroom for your turn. And now everybody feels attacked because they feel like, oh, is she trying to be the new Wendy Williams? No, this is not a Wendy. This is a whole journalist right here, okay? She's not a personality. This is a whole journalist. This woman went to school, okay? And she don't play by the rules, and I love it. I like it. Just like they got these court shows that y'all go to out here, and you let them call your crackheads and everything. Ain't nothing wrong with this woman here telling you that if you a 60-year-old and you pass your time, it's time to retire. That ain't nothing wrong with that. And I stand beside her. I do. E-News know they had no reason. To come up and attack her for the very thing they get paid doing. Could you imagine the audacity of another outlet who's falling in ratings asking this woman, why is she doing what she got to do to keep her job? If these people don't want to answer the questions, don't answer. I, I, I would rather not answer. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to say. But I guarantee if it was Keller Ripper, Ripping somebody a new one. Nobody wouldn't give her that. Hey, damn. At all. Tamron, I stand you, honey. Keep dragging. Moving on.